Hi friends, this is Haruka from Planet Education. Today is uh, Friday, March 20th, and we are in day two of the shelter in place in the San Francisco Bay Area. And as a college counselor, I want to share some tips and uh, tricks for uh, any high school students who are trying to navigate their college admissions journey in the midst of this uh, chaotic situation. Uh, today is a day that a lot of the UCs release their decisions. And if you've been admitted to some of these UCs, congratulations, as you know, they're one of the top public schools in the country and others you may have heard a wait list. What do you do if you can't visit the schools? Um, all of the UCs right now have shifted their curriculum to online curriculum and the campuses usually would be um, bustling right now with their admitted student receptions and campus tours and things like that. Um, but they are all on hold. So what's the next best thing? Um, I want you to take a look at a website called Campus Real. Campus Real is spelled as C A M P U S R E E L, campusreal.com. And it's a website that has 15,000 real videos and tours of about 300 universities around the country. So if you're, you know, stuck on your couch, you can check it out. Um, I was just looking at UC Davis as one example, and they have things like the move-in day or some uh, different uh, dorm tours and special programs or building tours and things like that. What And, and I learned a lot. Um, they had one video that was um, with students asked um, the question, what is your favorite thing about UC Davis and what is your least favorite thing about campus? And kind of reiterated some things that I kind of knew, like the recurring theme was the size of the campus being really large and, and that you had to have a bike. And it's like, oh, okay. So again, if it, you know, you don't have to go to UC Davis right now in the midst of this um, epidemic. You can explore the schools from the safety of your own home. And like I said, there are uh, 300 campuses represented on Campus Reel and 15,000 videos loaded by sp students. It's uh, kind of different from, you know, I think some previous virtual tours that are um, loaded on some websites kind of have a stiffness to them right it's kind of more mechanical but i think you might like campus real because actual students student ambassadors are um are are you know getting getting on a, what else can i say oh and i'm going to be hosting some more seminar well i had my, my plan to host two seminars uh, next week, but I have converted them both to webinars. And so let me tell you about them. The first one is going to be on Friday, M March 27th from 10 o'clock. And it's in, and then the second one is on Sunday, March 29th at two o'clock. Uh, they're both going to be college admissions webinars with the focus on University of California admissions. So as you know, the UCs are among the top UCs, two top, um, state schools in the country, stop top schools period. So if you wanna learn a little bit more about the nine undergraduate campuses and what it takes to get in, uh, some of the statistics and some of the more softer stuff as well, let me tell you about how to pick them because a lot of times, you know, you just know the names, uh, but when you're picking a school, you want to pick uh, them based on academic fit, social fit and financial fit. I'm also, as a bonus, going to share about my favorite books that I use for college research, as well as my favorite websites and social media, uh, because right now, you know, it's kind of tricky. It's you, you can't visit the school, so what do you do? You you have to do with um, you have to do a lot of stuff online, and and it is possible to continue. I mean, if you are a junior or a any any age but definitely if you're a junior you want to the show must go on you still have to do your research you still have to continue with your college admissions planning um, and I'm here for you if you need 
um, somebody to to help you uh, help navigate college admissions, which is challenging enough for anybody. But now with this epidemic, um, I'm trying to do my best to gather the most accurate information uh, from the right sources so that I can share that with my students and their families. Uh, because every student is different and everybody's going to, um, you know, priorities are going to be changing during this, uh, this, uh, you know, probable recession. And so uh, let me help you with that. Uh, the other thing I want to tell you about is my College Knowledge webinars. These are going to be coming up. My Q2 is starting April 2nd, and I'll tell you the headlines, the titles of my upcoming uh, webinars. So April 2nd is going to be on financial aid, FAFSA, and EFC. EFC stands for Expected Family Contribution. This is all about how financial aid from the federal government works. Uh, April 9th was going to be spring break, but hey, you know, we'll see what happens on that. April 16th is going to be on CSS Profile. CSS Profile is the other financial aid form that is used by the, you know, all the Ivy League schools, most private schools in the country, as well as many selective schools, selective public schools in the United States. It's basically the financial aid form that's used by institutions uh, when they try to determine who's going to get that money. Um, April 23rd will be a webinar called Student Loan Debt and Risk Mitigation. This is really important during these fine, you know, these trying times with the with the uh, COVID-19 uh, epidemic going around, causing a lot of economic uh, shifts, and many families are now worried. You know, their the money in their five two nines and their stock portfolios and their savings and checking is all come, come down, and so. Uh, you may be tempted to increase your student debt, but I'm here to tell you that it's actually a high-risk thing to do. So let me tell you in this webinar how much is 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 reasonable debt. You know how much debt do most families in the United States actually carry, and how do you determine uh, what is uh, a reasonable uh, amount of debt for your your student to um, to to bear. Uh, April thirtieth, I'll talk about early decision and early action. This is where college research kind of intersects with financial literacy because early decision is actually a uh, decision that is highly financially motivated, not just academically, because. Uh, ED means that you are committed, you're willing to, it is a binding decision and you're basically telling a school that you will, um, you will attend if admitted. Um, early action is also an early type of uh, application process, but it is not binding. And so in this webinar, I'd like to share the pros and cons of each and uh, whether you can actually get a bump from either process compared to, say, regular decision. And there's other early programs, too. There's REA, Restricted Early Action, and, and ED1, ED2. It gets a little bit confusing, but if you, if you don't understand the differences and you need to understand that, um, I welcome you to join that one. May 7th is called the Ivy League. And in this, um, I'm going to be talking about the eight Ivy League institutions that um, that are uh, very, very popular. But I'm also going to talk about the selective schools in general and what kind of uh, application processes they may have and some additional things that are unique to the Ivies and some of the selective schools, how their application process may be a little bit different from, uh, say, the UCs. Um, May 14th, I'll talk about state schools because that is uh, very unique as well. There are state schools, every, you know, we have 50 states and 50, more than 50 state schools actually, but there are some that are more popular for our students from California. So I will give some highlights about that. Um, from a price point perspective, if you think that private schools are out of your budget and you still want to apply to 
uh, schools outside of California just to diversify, then you want to look into state schools, whether it's like uh, University of Washington or the Oregon State Schools or Arizona, Michigan, etc. Some in the Midwest, and even some that I don't I think are kind of gems that a lot of West Coast students don't even look at, like in in the East Coast, like the SUNYs, the State University of New York or Rutgers in New Jersey. So if you're interested in things like that, I encourage you to come to my webinar on May 14th. Again, that's called State Schools, Public Ivies, and WUI. WUI stands for the Western Undergraduate Exchange. Um, and that's a great program for students or families who are looking for uh, uh, a cost-effective um, education. Uh, it's a way that students can families can get a deep discount on uh, tuition. Um, so come to that one. And the last one in my spring series is on May 21st. I'm going to be talking about liberal arts colleges. Uh, these are the smaller schools that are, um, you know, usually about five, six, seven thousand students or less. And they're so unique. They're different from the state schools. And sometimes you wonder, well, some families may be like, you know, what's the what's the what's the uniqueness and what is the benefit of attending a um, a liberal arts college? Number one, it's the size um, and it's the intimacy that you get for your teachers. If uh, if that is something that appeals to you, let me tell you more about that. And also some of the things that might be, um, you know, disadvantageous depending on the student. So I have seven. Webinars total between April 2nd and May 21st. They're going to be taking place uh, over seven Thursdays from 4 to 5 p.m. Pacific time. If you are, if you know of any high school students who are interested in getting help for their college admissions journey, or if you're a parent and need some help, and education then come to my webinars my my goal is really my mission is to inspire motivate and educate students and families as they as you go through this process right now this year is is going to be a scarier one for most families and you know i am doing whatever i can to help families make their best decisions okay uh, the cost for this is is uh, three hundred fifty dollars for the webinar series, but if you uh, if you use the coupon code Peach thirty seven, that's a hundred dollars off. So you can come to the the uh, series. You can <clears throat> get the spring series of college knowledge webinars for two hundred fifty dollars. Uh, go to my website. It's planiteducation.com planiteducation.com and click and get get more information and I look forward to seeing you there. All right, thank you.